Hello everyone. In this video of Power BI at SlideScope, you will learn how to use Python script as a data reader in Power BI. So if you want to use Python script as a data reader, uh, because usually we load data with the help of Excel workbook, text or CSV file, SQL server or any other similar type of data source. But what if we have to read the data particularly with Python script? Because Python, you need to have Python installed. Uh, then just click on get data, double click on get data. Here just search for Python. Suppose there is some data that you want to load from Python script. So you will just click here and now this is your script and you can see in my case python installation folder is automatically being listed here. So you have to provide this information. So in file of power bi in options and settings in data source settings you will see that I have python listed here ok so let's go to option and settings options here you can see python is scripting and it should detect your python installation path so if you have python installed on your computer the path should be there ok now since in my case power bi knows the path or knows the path of python i will simply write a, a python script here. so if you are familiar with pandas library so we will write import pandas as pd and df is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and here we can write url of some csv file okay so you can provide that url So here we are on GitHub Seaborn data and here you can read any data. Let's say we want to read uh, iris flowers data. Just an example of most, most used data set for machine learning and exploratory analysis. So let's click on raw so if your data is public and is on github you can copy it from here otherwise you must be knowing if it is in json format or any other format suppose it's a sql format data some sort of sql format data and you want to load it so you know in sql you need information of the server that is the host username password and database so you can read sql read json read xml read csv with the help of python and i am just writing this and it is very important you have to write print df so this will read the data and put it in a data frame which is a 2d table like structure with index columns and rows and then it will print the df so whatever data preview we were having on github we will have the same preview here as well and now it is connecting and here you can see in python we have the name of that variable that we had and let's uh, select this variable and here you, you have the same data now let's load it when you will load it you will see a table named dfa obviously while writing your script you can change the name of df to anything that you want and here we will just ex let's explore some data for example we have to prepare a scatter plot we want to see the relationship between petal length and petal width of these flowers so on x axis let's put petal length 
and on y axis let's put metal width so we have 150 samples and here you have sum of petal width but actually we don't want to summarize the data as we want every scatter point we want to use 150 points here and similarly for x axis also we want them so here you can see now what is this graph showing us out of these 150 flowers there are certain bunch of flowers which have a very uh, you know, low value of petal length and petal width. They have values with, between this range 1 and 2. There are some flowers which have values between 3 and 5. And there are some flowers which have values of petal length between 5 and 7. Now, how, how can we see those flowers? So, obviously, in legend, you add a categorical column which is species here, and then you will see. So this is how you can simply write a simple Python script and read the data. Now, there is one very important thing here because while reading the data from Python, we can do a lot of data cleaning, right? So we can do data, we can do meld, we can do cross tab. You know, we can join two tables, three tables, ten tables. We can merge them, concatenate them, whatever we want to do. So, in, in those terms, in terms of data cleaning, Python has that ability. We have free tutorial on our channel. I will provide the link in the description. So, you can uh, browse those videos so, so that you can learn Python pandas for free. And if, if you learn Python pandas, or if you want a dedicated full length tutorial, so we have these two courses available on Udemy. Uh, they they seem to change the pricing every now and then, so it may be different when you visit this link. So here you can see learn Python libraries for data analysis. You can get this course, and you have this particular course. So if you want to get this course for free obviously you can connect with us on our channel or on our website slidescope.com thanks for watching this video have a nice day